Thank you. Getting better and better. We're all getting better. I think my picture's better too, except for that line over the lip. See, there you go. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, we have a very confident Jan Ewing. He was just uh, 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 regaling me in telling me about how he is preparing this, this filmed version of his exciting new play. Now, whenever I've mentioned Jan Ewing's name, I've talked about him as Ewing Reviewing, uh, one of the star reviewers of High Drama and the publisher and, and archivist, if you will, of some of the most notable works of off and off off-Broadway via Ewing Reviewing. But what many of you may not know is that he is also an experienced and very celebrated playwright. And he has just finished a really stunning piece. It's historical drama and it's it's devastating in so many ways. Jan, I'm really glad to see you. It's been forever. How's everything? Uh, going very, very well, actually. And uh, it really, it's really interesting. It's so nice to see the city reopening, the, no the noise, people getting around. And on the other hand, when I think about it, I probably wouldn't have written this play if it hadn't been for the pandemic. Uh, I'm not sure I would have been sitting at home and I wasn't sure I was ever going to write another play. I mean, I'm not a kid anymore. And so I, I thought, well, why bother writing a play? But I've been thinking about this one for a long time. It's about a little boy named Ivan the Sixth, who was the Tsar of Russia. He was crowned at two months old. He was dethroned at 15 months. And then he was thrown into prison and kept there in solitary confinement until he was murdered at 24. That was this boy's entire life. And it's one of the saddest things that I ever, ever read. You know, I was reading a reading a um, biography of Catherine the Great, and this boy came up, and there's not a great deal of information, but there is enough, because this is a true story. And I've always thought about writing about him, and I think it's just because I, I felt so sorry for him, and I had such empathy for him, I really do. Uh, but I did, so I decided one day, well, why not write a play? So I uh, sat down, and uh, interestingly enough, uh, my partner says that I didn't write it, that something else wrote it, that I couldn't have written it, um, I sat down and wrote it in three weeks, nice. almost without getting up. Uh, it just came out. And um, I'm so happy that it came out as well as it did. And <clears throat> it's a wonderful story about children, the way they are used and abused and the way power is wrong uh, and all of these things and the, the attitudes uh, of the establishment and this sort of thing. It, it turns out to be an extremely modern classic play and i wanted to write a classic play because i uh, i like uh, you know all of those costumes and things but um it turned out to be a very very relevant classic play in virtually every aspect i was going to say the amid the backdrop yes of course we have uh we have ivan the sixth this great you know russian drama if you will but when you really get rid of all of that it's really yes you're absolutely right it's it's the abuse that children take at the hands of of their ignorant parents and relatives yes. and i don't mean ignorant stupid i just mean ignorant they just don't know any better the the they let the wrong things guide them well, they um, let their own their, they let their own needs take precedence uh you. you know and this was a certain this was certainly that sort of a circumstance this was a little boy his mother did not like uh did not like elizabeth the second elizabeth was the last living daughter of peter the great and uh so uh, she really could have been in line for the throne but this little boy had actually been been crowned and and deified and they had painted icons and sent out pictures of him and they worshiped him and this was the little boy that was living in his room with two guards that hated him because they had to stay there until he was dead their order was if anyone tried to get him out he was to be killed without direct uh you know orders from uh, the reigning czar which at the time of the play is catherine the great she's been She's been there for two years, but it's really terribly, very, very exciting. It's sad, I do have to say, and it was, a, and so as a writer, it was a very, very interesting experience for me because I, I don't like hurting people. <laughs> and yet I had this boy that got hurt. And uh, so, but it worked out. I think it really worked out well. And there's a, a, a surprise twist in it that, um, you know, makes it, well, I, I, I think it's really- There's the big question. Now, yeah. little is known about him. Now, there's a lot of surprise twists in this. I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry. There's a lot of surprise twists in this. What do you think? Uh, are, they, uh, are they based on fact or are they based on Jan? No, no they're based on Jan very likely because, <laughs> uh, well, you have, I have this story. I have this little boy, you know, you take a concept 
And my concept is to base it on this. You take this little boy who's, who is, you know, done, he's put up there on a throne and then thrown into a prison and not fed enough, uh, you know, for 24 years. And that's the story. And so what did he do during that time? How did he react during that time? The stories about him are that he, you know, they did not educate him. They did not allow him anything. Uh, they were afraid to educate him because he did have a legitimate claim. And if the right people rose up with the right, you know, army and claimed it in the right way, that's how they lived in those days. So this kid just sat there in a room. And, you know, so what did he do in that room? Well, that is the playwright's job to ascertain that sort of thing and to suggest that sort of thing and to to try to make some sense of it, to try to make some sense of it. I think that's it. And you certainly did. And the playwright did an amazing job on this. I was I was enthralled sitting through one of the readings of it, one of the rehearsals of it. It was really marvelous. Um, I wish you so much luck with it. I can't wait until we can get started with it. I, I already have the catchphrase, from the throne to be thrown in jail. Uh, I um, love it. I love <laughs> uh, really marvelous piece all the best with it can't wait to talk to your cast members about it it'll be ready in about a week and have a good time with the cast members they're wonderful people uh and ask uh ask, ask um patrick about his uh uh new play he was written a play that's going to be at the hudson guild wow in okay, the yeah. theater is opening jen thank you i look forward to the play and i look forward to seeing you in person you bet absolutely take care buddy ciao bye